Hello my beautiful Leos, welcome back to my channel. For those that don't know me, I am May and welcome to Tarot with May. We certainly hope that everyone is doing well. I'm back with a reading regarding messages from the universe. Leos, this is for Sun, Moon and Rising. I do suggest you check your Sun, Moon and Rising to get a full picture of what the universe will like to tell you at this given moment. I'm going to start off with some cards. As always, please remember to take what resonates, what doesn't. You can always leave it behind. And if there's something that triggers you in some way, maybe take that message into account. All right. I do read intuitively at times. That's saying sometimes what I do say. It doesn't always curl up with seeing the cards necessarily, but I do hope that I provide enough information. Yeah. Bottom card that we have is a Grand Symphony. Wow. Beautiful. With this, what's coming through strongly is the universe wants to deliver a message that I definitely sense that you will be coming close towards reaching your goals, your targets with this grand symphony where everything will be just assembling together with ease. I definitely sense with this as well, it could be coming towards an end of a project, a task, a challenge that you had to face. And I definitely sense celebration is on the horizon for you through this card. Moving in, we have Beyond the Ordinary. I am picking up that wonderful news will be coming forth towards you. I definitely sense the universe wants you to experience the happiness and joy of life. I definitely sense some of you may be going through a spiritual awakening as well. And it may feel very surreal and very scary for some. But I am picking up that you'll be understanding on things on a much more deeper level. Understanding spirituality or understanding yourself. Once you've learned to quiet the mind, the universe invites you to go within. I definitely sense silencing the mind for those that always are on the go will bring you a bit of peace and slowing your mind down to really understand your wants and needs as well. Moving in, we have the royal you. So I definitely sense a bloom, a glow up is coming forth as well. The universe wants to provide the abundance for you um, with this change that you are making for yourself and your environment. I definitely sense the journey that you have been embarking on towards your goals, your manifestations, whether this is relationship, uh, career, family, connections. It has taken a lot of toll, a lot of strength. Um, the next step though is to quiet your mind to really decipher truly what you want for people to treat you in this role you. I definitely sense you're learning to come out of your shell and express authentically who you are. This is something that the universe wants you to do, especially if you're not in that state. Leos, let's see where you are currently at this given moment, where you currently have your energy. Okay, bottom card that we have is the Three of Cups in the reverse. I definitely sense with the Three of Cups in the reverse, there have been some tainted energy around you um, that has been like hindering you from achieving your goals, your prosperity. With the Three of Cups, it talks about feelings, water energy, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. I definitely sense there could be someone around you that hasn't got your best interest at heart. Starting off with this here, we have the world. The world's in the reverse at this moment. I definitely sense that you have some internal insecurities, maybe regarding your external appearance perhaps, or even your creative ideas, your, your thoughts. I definitely sense it's time for you to come out of that and transition to moving beyond the ordinary, stepping out of your comfort zone or your shell and exposing the true you. I definitely sense through some of this is that this could be due to you not being able to authentically express due to your environment. There is some masculine energy here. This could be you yourself. This is an energy that you may need to learn to adapt and embrace into, understanding that your voice matters, your feelings matters, your thoughts matters your values matters. There is transition tra changing that wants to happen. This is an energy that universe wants to you to tap into Leo's, but also this could be someone else undermining everything that you have been saying. And this kind of goes with two people. We have the King of Swords and the King of Pentacles energy, but also with the King of Pentacles, it is in the reverse. 
with this energy, what comes through is that some of you need to learn why you assert your energy. Is it adequate? Is it something that you need in this certain time period of your life? Remember to know when you assert your energy because we only have a limited amount. I definitely sense that there have been people around you. It's time for you to listen to your intuition, to decipher those that have your back and those that don't. And this could be someone that is quite mentally um, manipulating you in some way or even emotionally. All right, moving in, we have the hand one. It's in the reverse. So with this, what's coming through strongly is the universe wants you to take a bit of breather out. This kind of goes hand with the, the quieting the mind. I love the synchronicity. It's time for you to really take a bit of breather for yourself, away from social environments, away from anything that is pertaining to technology, perhaps your phone, emails. It's time for you to really think on your own feeling a bit more free as well. I definitely sense you need to learn how to free your mind from other people's expectations, thoughts, and be the hanged one, and really see things from a different perspective as well. For the grand symphony to happen, for the royal you, what you deserve to come through. We have the five of cups here in the reverse. This is beautiful to see. The universe wants you to know and acknowledge that it's okay that things that don't work 100% your way or friendships or feelings or whatever it is, know that there, there are the cups here that you have learned and there is things to you can fall back on. You do have skills, you do have people that do support you. Even if it's not on the physical realm, it could be in the spiritual realm, they are here to support you and guide you for the better. Listen to your intuition, that is something that comes through strongly opposed to other people's opinions. Um, yeah. Leo, so let's go in with this. Let's see what else is happening. Bottom card that we have is chop wood. Okay, so with this chop wood is that it's time for you to really get back onto the mundane task because you have been missing that out. Maybe checking the post, taking out the garbage, sweeping out the floor, mopping the floor, you know. Get back to just mundane tasks. I definitely sense through through that when you stop thinking about what's on your mind 100% of the time you get this intuitive hit. I definitely sense that a soulmate could be coming forth towards you or being more deep in connection with the person that's with you. A soulmate connection is happening, the universe wants you to know that, a twin flame soulmate if you um, attain to that label or idea. Community, communities can come through, a tribe, a soul tribe for you, and that's something that comes forth. I definitely sense that the universe wants to express to you that once you know how to deepen your mind and expand out of what you see through the world, there is so much to learn and there are people out there that will support you if your current environment doesn't. We have here and now, it's in the reverse, it's time for you to be more present, so the universe wants you to be more present, and know that you can build any foundations up again from the beginning, and know that it can be much more secure than ever, okay? And this foundation could be building self-confidence for yourself, if others have knocked you down, it's time for you to be more present with yourself, quieting the mind, asking questions, who has been triggering you? Leos, alright, let's get into this to see further information. Bottom card that we have is lavender. Surround yourself with love, definitely. Or maybe use lavender as an essential oil. Remember to surround yourself with love. That could be just love within yourself. What love can you give to yourself at this given moment? We have clover, release your guilt. What is something that you can release? Maybe do a burning ritual for yourself. Write it on a letter, release it out to the universe and allow the universe to deal with it for you to unburden your mind. I definitely sense that this um, soulmate, there could be someone around you that has been trying to trigger you away from your soulmate and the universe wants to identify that you actually in fact have met them but don't allow other people to twist or turn that relationship otherwise. We have a feast, slow down and celebrate yourself. So yeah, some of you have been really active, this could be career. Learn to celebrate life, be present in the moment. People forget to be present and enjoy life and in a blink of an eye, a lot of change can happen. All right, let's get into this to see further information. The universe will like to tell you.
bottom card that we have is career. Some of you may have a hard time to let go of your career, but know that once you have let go, maybe um, you focus more on your talents and gifts that could be your career. I definitely sense your career could be linked to your life purpose. Your universe, the universe wants to tell you that it's okay if you let go of one career path. Don't allow a label to define you. We have spirit guides. I definitely sense that this is just a sign that the universe wants to tell you that you are never alone. Even if it's in the physical presence, your spirit guides are here to help you, protect you. Maybe it's time for you to meditate, have a bit of time out. Uh, so we have the word grieving. Do the appropriate grieving that you need to do that looks different to others and individuals. Um, with this grieving though, there will be a transformation that can happen. I definitely sense that you haven't taken adequate time out to heal yourself properly um, from a situation in the past. I definitely sense it's a safe place and safe time to do so. Let's move it in here to see further information, Leos. What will actually improve from here? All right, Leos, through the letters, you may find some words, names, initial sentences, whatever pops out, it's a message for you. Um, we have the letter B, L, F, O, I, G, Q, K, O, G, V, P, I, T, I, D, a lot of letters and T. All right. Okay. So those are the letters that's popped through for you. And this is your reading Leo's regarding message from the universe. I do hope that you've enjoyed it. Please do check your sun, moon and rising to get a full picture of what the universe would like to tell you. If you did, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel if you're not already. And I hope to get together the next one. Thank you everyone. Love.